With 20 years experience, Corvette Racing is a well-oiled machine on race weekends. With a stellar driver lineup and a dedicated crew, it has become the team to beat in GT racing in North America. All the time we have developed our annual ritual. You know, we generally arrive at the track early Wednesday morning, so we unload all our equipment, set up the tent, and then the guys will leave. They'll get checked into the hotel, and then they'll dissipate to their favorite haunts. And they're usually back in bed by about 10, because tomorrow will be a very early morning. The hard work of the Michigan-based crew is the foundation of the team's performance on race weekends. They're guys I trust and I know, and uh, we, we know each other very well. And you cue off of those guys sometimes, sensing there might be something wrong, or you know whether it's with the car or, or something else in the team. But you also get, you get confidence from them. You know when they're feeling happy with the car, and you're also feeling happy with the car. It sort of breeds that sort of confidence, and you get in the zone. As for the drivers themselves, there's more to it than just stepping into the C7R and going racing. It's a constant process that the team have us engaged with, and you know whether it's out meeting the fans or it's out doing a PR event or going down to the Corvette Corral, it's all an integral part of how our program works and functions. And we know as drivers that's our commitment, we need to be doing that. I'm happy to be in front of a camera in that respect because it means there are people interested in the sport and our racing. That's why we are here. We are here to attract the people the fans around the track. The mixture between having a lot of fun and being really professional, it's the right one. A series of practice sessions and qualifying keeps the drivers focused on the task at hand during the weekend build-up. Switching back on after you've been doing all the, the, the PR stuff is, is fine. It's that whole process that you have of getting yourself ready, getting your suit back on, getting the helmet on. It's all preparation. And then as you're driving down, pit lane, you're getting yourself ready for what's coming, that aggressive blast as you release the pit lane speed limit. You get so switched on so quickly, you get hardly a time to sort of think about, well, I need to switch myself on, it just happens. We'll go out for either two or three practice sessions. That will do the initial setup on the car. So now we'll be looking at details, things like tire pressures, tire wear, spring setups, setups on the differential in the car. Friday, we'll have a couple of practice sessions in it along with some qualifying. That pretty much lets us know not only where we are in relationship to the others, but the performance level that we can kind of expect from all our competition. When it comes to race day, the IMSA GTLM champions have their pair of C7Rs ready to compete against all comers. And one thing is practice and qualifying, but when it comes to racing, I think this team is one of the best I've ever been in. Coming to a race on race morning never gets old. You know what you've got lying ahead. You know the challenge that awaits you. And knowing that the world's eyes are on us, that we are the bar, I'm not saying it adds a little bit of pressure, but what it does add is a little bit of pride. So you're very proud of what you've done in the days leading up. You want to be just as proud as how you conduct yourself getting to that green flag, just as proud as you are conducting yourself during the race, and just as proud as when that checkered flag drops. That's what we've used as our guidelines, and I think it's proven to be a, a pretty good program.